In the workshop, a modified Southworth Engines 12-inch boiler feed pump built by Don English. This is part 3. When I first got this pump, the lubricator was entirely dry, and even when I refilled it with steam oil, I don't think it's actually lubricating. I'm using a steel ball inside a union nut to temporarily seal the steam chest because I've removed the pipe so I can see what the lubricator is doing. Now all I need to do is run the pump. And as you can see, even though the lubricator is full of steam oil, not much of it, in fact none at all, is coming out of the outlet. So I wonder what's wrong with it. This is one of Don's own design lubricators and it works very differently to the normal type. Some lubricators use ratchets, some use spring clutches. This just uses an eccentric cam that rocks back and forth as the arm is moved. The problem with this type of lubricator is it's very fiddly to adjust if you don't know what you're doing. All you have to do is slacken off the grub screw on the operating arm and adjust the position of the cam so you find a sweet spot where it starts to deliver the oil. A common mistake when adjusting this type of oil pump is to move the cam too far and that doesn't work, it has to be in exactly the right position. This type of oil pump depresses a piston inside but it must depress it just the right amount. Too much, no oil. Too little, no oil. The adjustment is quite precise. I think it's time to put the pipe back in place and give the engine a good run. Whenever I run model steam engines for the first time, I always introduce some oil into the airline. I don't use an inline lubricator, I tried that, but the problem is the type of oil you have to use sometimes makes the silicone o-rings go sticky. Before refitting the pipe, I think it's a good idea to polish it up a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I may as well clean up the body of the lubricator tank too. I'm just using an old piece of worn Scotch-Brite to clean up the lubricator tank. I don't want to polish it because it's fairly impossible to keep them nice and shiny all the time. I just want to remove the dirt and the grime that's accumulated on the body of the lubricator over the time that the engine has been built. This is not a new engine. It was made quite a while back. The cap of the lubricator is pretty horrible really. Not only is it like this on the top, the sides are a bit uneven where it was obviously beaten on a former. So to fix this, I used a large lathe tool in the vise and re-hammered the edges. After using various grades of sandpaper on the edges, followed by using the polishing spindle, it now looks like this. Time to refit the pipe. Normally, I would connect the output of a mechanical lubricator to a small clack valve or oil check valve fitted to the steam chest, but this doesn't use one of those, and time will tell whether I need to actually use one. The lubricator has its own one-way valve, but these are easily upset if you get any particles of dirt in them. Because the lubricator hadn't had any oil in it for a long time, I did notice a very sticky residue of old steam oil in the cap. And it may even have been some of the residue from the cap had fallen into the oil and got jammed in the valve. Now I know that the lubricator is working okay, I'm going to give it a good run at a fairly high speed. Well, at the moment I'm slowing it down, but... What I did off camera, I ran it for quite a while to see how quickly the oil went down in the lubricator. And it's going down, which is the main thing. You can clearly see the principle of this lubricator. Very few moving parts, it's just a cam that rocks back and forth. It's a great design because clutches and ratchets always give problems eventually. I like this sort of pump so much I have to really fight to turn it off. I can sit watching it going back and forth for quite a long time. It's fairly hypnotic. You can see how much the silicone rubber tubing is jumping about with the pressure of water inside it. It would be interesting to see how much an air reservoir in the circuit, which acts as a damper, affects the moving of the pipe. I think it's time for some slow motion. It's been running for a while and I need to see how much oil is coming out of the exhaust pipe, that's what my hand's doing behind the engine. And from the amount of oil that's coming out of the exhaust, I think the delivery is perfect. I prefer it if the lubricator delivers slightly too much oil. 
because too much oil is preferable to fixing a scored cylinder or a damaged piston ring. That's about it for this video, I'll just replace the cap of the mechanical lubricator. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.